Welcome back to another video. In recent videos, I've shown you how to raise customer invoices, sales invoices, and edit those invoices. We're not quite done with invoices yet. If we go to the customer that I created and raise the invoice for, so invoicing customers, example customer one. This is the invoice that we recorded on QuickBooks Online. If I click on it, and then go to print or download that invoice. This is what the invoice looks like. This is the sales invoice. It might be that we're not very happy with the way this looks. Perhaps the color scheme is off. Perhaps we don't want the logo showing up there. Perhaps the text is too small. Whatever it is about the invoice, you can likely change it. It could be that we want some additional text to show with our bank details. I'm going to show you in this video how to change all, all of that, how to customize the invoice. So we're going to go to account and settings, which is this gear cog icon at the top right and accounts and settings. You should be familiar with this because this is where we started at the beginning of this QuickBooks Online course. If you've joined the series here, I really suggest you go back to the beginning and watch from the beginning. So accounts and settings, and then under sales, there will be a box for customize. You simply just click on customize look and feel. You're taken to the custom form styles. I know this is a bit long winded, but just bear with me. Click edit. You can then edit the invoice. So there's some little tabs here and there's also some tabs at the top. So let's dive in with a template. So we can choose the template that we want. This one looks kind of fancy. Um, we can go through the templates and choose which template you would like. Don't think this is the finished product because there's still a lot to change, such as the color, size, the text, and things like that. If you want to edit the logo, you can do so here. If you want it to be smaller, larger, if you want it to be in the center, to the left, to the right, that's all done on this setting. You can change the color scheme, so perhaps we'll go for a nice um, sort of blue color, which matches the Bookkeeper Master logo. You can change the font. So we have a few different fonts here. Let's try this one and let's try making it slightly smaller. You can play around obviously and make it how you like. And then you can print the invoice out to actually have a look at a hard copy. So that's these tabs. At the top here, we can add additional content. So we choose where we want the content to be. This is text content. So if we want to add something down the bottom here to say our bank details or thank you for your business, you can add that. You can also change the size of it. You can see this shows at the bottom. If you keep an eye on the bottom here, perhaps you want thank you for your business like that. That's now showing on that invoice. The bank details, you might want to make that bigger too. Emails will come back to at a later time. Um, perhaps there'll be another course about emailing from QuickBooks Online, but just to keep things basic, that's it. We can now save this by clicking the Done button. Now let's go back to that invoice and have a look. So invoicing, example customer one. Let's have a look at this invoice now and see what we think. Print or preview. So this is what it looks like now. If we're still not happy, we can go back and edit that invoice. Just follow the steps in this video. If we are happy, then great. We can download this, we can print it off, send it to our customers. Just like lots of things um, in life, it takes time. You know, just play around with it. It might be a bit of trial and error to begin with, but eventually you'll find something that you're comfortable with and you like the look of. Okay. On to the next video.